Hello, hey everybody. Welcome again to another episode here at the Edgar Vargas channel. <laughs> We're uh, excited to have everybody here. Uh, we have another member of our of the Pace community. Uh, Michelle is part of the Gator community. Uh, so she's, ex you know, we're, we're all excited. There's two communities in the Pace Morby. Uh, we have the sub two community and the Gator community. Uh, some of us are part of both. Some of us focus on the Gator side, but it's always something that we collaborate and help each other out, uh, when, when we're making deals. Uh, so I'm excited to have her here. I'm excited for her, uh, to share her story on the real estate investment industry. Um, and along also learning what she does, right. For a W2 and how she manages that time. So without further ado, Michelle, uh, you want to introduce yourself a little bit, what, what, what you do, what's your passion, um, and then we'll take the conversation from there. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Edgar. I really appreciate your time and, and everybody's time that's watching this. Um, I'm Michelle. My handle on Facebook is Missy Lou Who. So if you're ever wondering if that's a real name, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... It is something that kind of stemmed from a very long voyage of me not liking social media. So bringing mm. myself out into the community and really putting myself out there for interviews and things like that um, is something that I'm learning to get more comfortable with. But for Missy. now, you can find me under Missy Lou Who. Very cool. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I am from Central Ohio and. I have a five to nine and a nine to five and I'm moonlighting as a gator as well as I have an affiliate brand that I don't do well posting at, but I should. <laughs> um, so by day I'm actually um, an insurance adjuster for a large retail corporation. I handle general liability and my five to nine is where my passion is, um, which is gymnastics. So I was nice. a D1 collegiate athlete for gymnastics and um, my passion just continues to run through me. So I coach gymnastics in the evenings. And now that season is gearing up, I will have a lot less free time. Yeah. I imagine I have any free time. <laughs> um, but I really do have a go-giver spirit. And when I was in a, another mentorship program, not real estate related. I was introduced to Pace and really fell in love with his nature of how he did things and why he did things and how he did things. So I knew I wanted to be a part of that community. And so I jumped in two feet and have really been here ever since. So um, that being said, I also have an affiliate brand um, with X Endurance. It's a supplement company. Okay. So um, my other passion is health and fitness. Um, which is what I went to school for, but ironically, I'm not doing anything with. I think that's the majority of life right now. <laughs> Everybody's doing that, right? That's what Pace talks about. You, you think that you have to go to college, right? Get a degree. Yeah. Do all the things what people tell you to do. And and I did, but am I using it? No. Yeah. <laughs> so What's, I'm just, I'm really happy to, you know, delve into this real estate business. I'm always wanting to learn and grow. And this was the next best adventure for me. Oh, that's awesome. There's so many things in there that I like to pick and ask you questions about because, uh, you know, the, the your affiliate brand and gymnastic kind of go in hand in hand, right? Keeping your body and, and your health right to be able to compete at that level. Uh, that's pretty cool. So you said you're, you're currently coaching, right? Uh, gymnastics. You're um, I'm, I coach soccer and it's a passion, right? To be able to watch kids. I'm not sure what age you coach, but I coach little ones from like eight to you 14. And uh, just watching them develop through that journey, it's uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, so I'm, I, I, it's very neat. So a little bit of your experience on coaching. What what age groups do you coach? And yeah, so I coach anywhere between I'd say eight to eighteen, just to be general. Um, it's a private club where um, if you're old enough to compete, I'm coaching you. And nice. until you graduate high school and then they go off to do whatever they want. So I do um, all four events with all my girls. Um, I'm definitely not a head coach. I was a head coach before. Um, mm. And I think a lot of that took the passion away ah. because there was more involved than just coaching. And I really just enjoy coaching. So <laughs> I took a step back and I'm loving every minute of it. And 
you know, getting to be a part of the developmental phases of children is something unique. Yeah, and sure. especially when you're talking about building their trust, right? You know, we talk about building a relationship with mm -hmm. your um, investors, your buyers, your wholesalers, whoever they are. Um, I think that we get jaded as we get older. And so that yeah. is a skill that you do have to learn. And I can't think of a, a better opportunity for me in order to start that is with children, right? Yeah, um, so first true. impression is everything with them. And, you know, they, they, they're smarter than they look, you know, yeah. they, they remember things <laughs> and, you know, they have to trust you literally holding their life in your hands. Yeah. I'm flipping them upside down. They've yeah. got to trust wow. that I'm going to catch them when they fall, <laughs> you know, and, and the guidance that I give them is correct. Right. So right. you can talk to all your friends all you want, but if you're all in the same boat and you don't have the answers, who else are you going to listen to but your coach? Yeah. So, you That's know, developing so that rapport, um, has set some building blocks, you know, for my skill set and, you know, really gaining perspective too, right? Mm. Because once they do something and they're like, wow, you were right. Do that. I could do that. <laughs> like, yes, absolutely. Their confidence builds. Yeah. They realize they can start to believe in themselves, you know, all the things. And so that's really something that has set me up when talking to other people, you know, I'm their biggest cheerleader too, right? right. I'm the one encouraging them, telling them that do this, you know, trust me if you don't trust yourself. Right. Right. So being a supporter and a, a cheerleader for them is something that I love doing for any age group. So if there's people, you know, in this community that are just kind of like, Oh gosh, I don't know. Fell in that. Tell rug, me, right? I'll be happy like, to support yeah. you. You know, let me get at you. You know, I'll hold you accountable. I'll walk you through things. I'll hold your hand when you need it. Um, that is a strength of mine. So my super power hero is, you know, helping people. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. You know, having them go through that journey. And then, you know, what I say a lot, like, and I'm sure you do, right. The communication skills, right. Building that at that young age. And I think that's why sports are so important, right? And and I think the generation we're at, right, they're focused a lot on on electronics and stuff, right? And but but having them be in the, that environment where where the, it's a team sport, or or now that you're part of the Gator community, right? When there's meetups, bringing our kids into those into those rooms and have 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 them surrounded by by these guys, you know, by these people that are talking about real estate investing, you know, it's like that that's my, you know, that's opening their eyes and hearing. Cause sometimes us as parents, we tell kids our some our kids something, but there are kids they may not perceive what we're trying to tell them. They think we're getting mad at them, but we're not, <laughs> you know? And I think sometimes that's why I, I feel that I, sometimes I do a little bit better explaining things to other kids than sometimes my own kids. <laughs> Cause they take For it. Sure. Yeah. They perceive it. Oh, it's my coach talking. <laughs> right. And the challenge comes in, when you coach your kids, right? Because there's a lot of us out there and I was one of them. I coached my kid and sometimes you bring it home with you unintentionally, yeah. right? Or sometimes you bring the home life into the gym and you just, you have to be really good at setting those boundaries because those boundaries. you yeah. may have a bad okay. day, right? But that doesn't mean that it can continue on into what you are trying to do for a living. So I think separation of home life um, and, you know, whatever it is that you're focusing on, whether it be real estate, coaching, you know, what have you, mm -hmm. it, it is important to remember because I mean, we are all going through yep. something yeah. and it doesn't determine how well we can do what we set our mind to. Right. Sure, sure. So I, then, I think having those boundaries within your own brain is what's going to help you succeed. Yeah, I love that you said boundaries because it's so important, right? And 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 sometimes our seasons in our lives, right? There's certain boundaries that you have to set, right? Depending on where you're at on on your season. And when I mean season, it's like different journeys, right? Like right now, you, you have two W twos, right? So you have to be very mindful of, of the time you're allocating to certain things. That's why I'm so thankful that you decided to to join us here and 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 having this conversation because I'm sure your your time is you know super valuable, but thank you. Thank you. Um, along those lines, you know, with valuable time, I wanted to pivot into, you know, where do you find that time to network with, with other investors, right? You mentioned networking and communicating with investors. 
because uh, that's one big part, right, of Gator lending, uh, being able to build those relationships where they could pass you a deal and say, hey, we need funding here, right? Yes, and it is about time management, honestly, and what you set as a priority, right? Because if mm. it's not a priority to you, you won't find the time, right? So We've good. all got 24 hours. It's the same 24 hours for everybody. So true. And yet some of us don't want to admit to ourselves that we're not using our time to the best of our ability. Mm. And I've always been one of those multitaskers. Like I don't <laughs> feel like I'm getting things done if I'm not doing five things at once. <laughs> the problem becomes when you can be really, really good at one thing or kind of good at a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So I have learned that whatever it is that's most important to me, I put in front. And right now that's staying on top of my schedule. Mm -hmm. And as you know, it got away from me a little bit today. <laughs> and, and that was hard for me to admit because I am a very punctual person. I'm very organized. And so I have my routine down to a T, you know, I'm nice. structuring my meals, you know, on a Friday, I go to the grocery on a Saturday, I'm meal prepping on Sunday so that my week, I don't have to worry about what I have to eat. You know, I'm mm. laying out clothes for the week. So I'm making sure that, you know, um, lunches are packed. I'm making sure that supplements are all in a row. I'm making sure that, I have enough time from my first W-2 to get to my second W-2 mm. and all the times in between, if I'm driving to and from, I'm scheduling calls because I've got time. I can pay attention nice. while I'm there driving, right? Yeah. Or the other day That's I so was important. in Sam's club and I had another Zoom call and I'm like, hey, I'm shopping, but I am 100% <laughs> listening. So, you know, but that's what you have to do. If I waited until the perfect time to do something, I'd never get anything done. Right, right. And that's, I think, where the analysis paralysis sometimes comes in, right? For some, it's like, oh, I want to make sure that I understand this completely. Or, or it's like, no, just go in, do it, do it. And, you, you know, I think I heard it from somewhere. They said, you know, do it dirty, do it anyway, right? Just, just get in there and, and take action. So it sounds like you're taking yeah. action, being involved in the community, you know, whenever, I think, uh, Sig Ziglar said the car university. I don't know if you heard of Sig Ziglar before, but you were saying you were driving, right? And you're getting on the phone and making calls, right? That's like the car university type of thing where you're always pushing yourself to learn. And it's not like, well, just let me, you know, listen to music or which is nothing wrong, right? But you're making the best out of your time. Right. That's the opportunities that I find when I can do something, right? Like, so if I'm cleaning the house, if I'm cooking, if, if there's something else I could be doing at the same time, that's your bottom dollar. I'm going to be doing it because you're absolutely right. Time is the most valuable resource we have. That's one thing that we can never get back. Money we can make again. You know, yeah. there's your energy. You know, there's there's always this constant flow of energy. You might feel tired, but you're going to gain energy back again. <laughs> time, you never get it back. Yeah, so you never do. I'm going to make the most of the time that I have. And, you know, if there's a shortcut to something, I always tell my friends at my day job, like, I will find it. I will find <laughs> the way to get there to the fastest point possible. And that doesn't yeah. mean cutting corners. That just means right. finding a most efficient way to do it. That's exactly because if I can right. do something faster, that just means I can do more later. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to you know, add, add as well. It's not like when people say shortcuts, it's like cutting corners. No, it's it's just finding a, a, a more efficient way of doing things, right? Uh, still yep. keeping the quality high, but being able to accomplish it in a smaller amount of time, right? So, right. Yeah, excellent point. Excellent point. Right on. And uh, so, yeah, just uh, you. I, I mean, I'm I'm blown away already <laughs> by by you being so intentional with your time. I'm already seeing things where I could do better and improve on myself. I know one of my weakest habits is just uh, sort of sleeping in in the mornings, uh, and I tell myself I need to get up earlier, but it, it doesn't. Uh, it hasn't triggered yet. Registered. <laughs> well, there's got to be a reason, right? You've got to have yeah. a a need. For it, like me, if if I don't get up right when my alarm goes off, my whole day is off because I've scheduled mm. everything that everything. way, right? So I've got to get up at a certain amount of time so I can get my workout in 
And then after my workout, I got to get in the shower. And after my shower, I've got to get breakfast and before I turn on my computer, right? So it's like yeah. everything is everything. set to where if one <laughs> thing is off, I've just blown everything. That means I don't get my workout in or I, I can't have, you know, the best breakfast that I wanted to do mm, or so <laughs> I'm logging in late. And, you know, I don't want to disappoint anybody, <laughs> let alone myself. So if I'm going to, if I'm going to do something and I say I'm going to do something, my word is my everything, oh. even if it's just to myself. Oh. I don't want to let myself down, right? Because how do you build consistent patterns if you're constantly failing yourself? Oh, that's so good, right? Because we always right? say that it, it, the most important person is you, you know, taking care of yourself, right? Because if you're not at that best, at that 100%, you know, it doesn't do any good you trying to be a giver and trying to take care of other people if, if you're if inside or you are, as a person are not full, right? So, ah, oh, that's... That's so good, Michelle. Uh, yeah, thanks for saying that because I, I definitely need that. <laughs> I know I've been slacking off on trying to work out in the mornings because that's one thing I was like, I need to you know, wake up or work out or, or do some reading or something, right? And it's just like I get I get up and I, I know I have enough time to eat breakfast and get ready to work, but it's that extra, you know, that extra little thing that I need in the mornings, but yeah. Right. Thanks. Absolutely. It's just some people, they like to meditate. Some people like to journal, you know, it, it doesn't really matter what it is. Even if you have a slight interest in it, as long as you can build little tiny habits on top of each other, it becomes routine. Right. Sure. And then before, you know, I mean, think about all the things we do, not even thinking when you first get out of bed, what's the first thing that you do? You can change anything <laughs> you want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it just becomes little pattern changes over time that when you ease into things, it's so much easier to build confidence in yourself that you're going to do it. And then just being a part of that routine, like it's no different, right? This is just what I do. Yeah. And that's how I have gotten to where I've become is just implementing these little things, building trust within myself. And, mm -hmm. you know, Gator is no different, right? I'm right, consistently... Right trying to look in the Facebook groups. I'm looking outside the Facebook groups. I'm trying to connect as much as possible. I'm following up with people. I'm, you know, again, having all of those things structured within my day so that I know, okay, from this time to this time, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And yeah. it just builds from there. That's so good. And you mentioned the word habits, right? And a lot of us think, oh, habits. It's like, eh, no. No taking those small habits, making those little habits and putting them in place, it's going to make you go a long way. So, you know, that's such an important key word that, that just triggers with me. And I, I do my best to have good habits, but I think I do have flaws, like I said, in the morning and I need to improve those habits. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And we then all for, can. Yeah. And, and for those that, uh, that, that don't know what Gator is, right. It's, it's, it's a way that, invest investors or lenders right uh that that lenders can borrow uh, lenders will cover emd cost or double closing cost uh what other michelle uh, opportunities are there in gator lending so and and pace has really done a, an amazing job so far and he has so many more strategies coming down the pike i'm really excited to hear what more there is but yeah, essentially it's, you know, covering monies that, um, you know, borrowers have a need for, whether it be mm -hmm. short term, maybe a little bit longer term um, for anything from small to large, right? You can yeah. do something as small as, uh, you know, single family residence to multifamily to construction, you know, all of the different things. Maybe you're in a state where you have to double close. So, you know, the transactional type lending. Um, just so many opportunities and, you know, being a part of Alpha Gator, where now we have access oh, nice. to even larger funds, you know, so we don't have to be warded off by the amounts that people yeah. might need. So, yeah, and That's so cool. many more are coming down um, through PACE, you know, and it's going to continue to get better and better. So I'm oh, so excited. Sure. I can't for wait sure. for all the additional ways that we can be of value to other people. Yeah. I mean, they always say, right, who doesn't need more money? All of us do, right? Right. <laughs> so be, being that person with the money and being able to help, you know, wholesalers, uh, fix and flippers, yep. you know, sometimes even people that want to buy and hold. But the, the big thing be, be behind Pace, right, and, and this creative financing is that we're not using our money. We're using other people's money 
you know, and I think Robert Kiyosaki, right, is one of the big founders behind that, right? And, and it, we're just taking it to that other level. So uh, I'm so excited for what, you know, the future holds for us with this community. Um, I know your time is very valuable. I don't, you know, appreciate your time. Uh, but do you want to share anything else before, uh, you know, you might share? I, I know you shared your Facebook handle. Do you have Instagram or IG, uh, Instagram or YouTube that you'd like people to follow you? I do. And because, and I know you probably wouldn't guess this, but I'm an introvert by nature. Um, so, and I am working um, on that, but I do, I have a YouTube, couldn't tell you what it is. Um, <laughs> it's probably just my name, Michelle Full. If it's not Michelle Full, then it's Missy Lou Who. It's one of those two. <laughs> um, same thing with Instagram. It's probably one of those two. Okay. Um, but because I am still currently working on it, sure. I just haven't had enough use to where I could be like, oh yeah, hit me up here. Like I have no <laughs> idea, but I'm working on awesome. it. Awesome. Well, once you get that, hopefully, you know, let me know. We can update the post here once we put upload it to YouTube. So people know how to get a hold of you and be able to make some deals and help them, you know, close some deals. So we're all excited here. Like I said, we're all helping each other. I'm part of the sub two community and the Gator community. My primarily focus has been in sub two as far as my journey goes, but definitely look forward to, you know, making some deals, hopefully down the road uh, once, once we get some on the pipeline. Um, so I, you know, again, thank you for your time. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, look forward to uh, working together soon. Absolutely. I appreciate your time as well, Edgar. And yeah, I'm in central Ohio. If anybody wants to have a meetup, please feel free to, and I would be most happy to meet with you. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again, Michelle. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good. You too, Edgar. Uh, don't don't go. I need a. I'm going to end the recording, uh, yep. and then and then it's going to take a. Minute.